Hey, Michelle. Are you ready for practice today? I know, right? I don't know why Mr. Anderson is making us go over the Mexican-American War again. It's not like we didn't already drill that topic into the ground a couple weeks ago. We went over it so much, I've been having dreams about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's just trying to put us in the best position possible to win first place this year. We can't let North High beat us again. <sighs> I think we got this. I mean, with me and you as co-captains this year, there's no way we can lose. Uh, excuse me, why are you blocking the door? I kind of need to get into that room. Do I even know you? Oh yeah, that's right. We do have math class together. Wow, I, I can't believe you even know my name. I am just so starstruck right now. No, not really. <laughs> well, now that we've made our little introductions, if you'll excuse me, I have an important activity to attend. Hey, what is your deal? You want to talk to me about something? What could you possibly need to talk to me about? <laughs> you need my help? Okay, no offense, but I doubt there's anything I could help you with. Don't you have some ball to go kick or someone to go tackle on some field somewhere? Oh, you play baseball. Wow, that's so interesting. Guess what? I couldn't care less. You know, contrary to popular belief, not everyone in this school pays attention to you and your little sports posse. Some of us have better things to focus on. Like I said, I have a real team counting on me in there, so if you could just get out of my way. What was that all about? He thinks that just because he's the most popular guy here that he can get anyone to do whatever he wants. Well, not me. Anyways, time to focus on decathlon practice. It's gonna be a long night. Great practice, everyone. I can really tell you've all been practicing and studying on your own time. Well, that concludes today's practice. And remember, we're only three weeks away from the competition, so that means it's crunch time. Ugh. Oh no, it's him again. What does he want now? Are we really doing this again? I thought I already told you to leave me alone. Okay, okay, fine. I guess I can hear you out. But make it quick. I have tons of homework to get through tonight. You, you want me to, to what? Me? So you're telling me out of all the people in this school, you want me to be your math tutor. Is this a joke or something? Okay, so you really couldn't find anyone else. You did what? You asked him what grade I have in his class? Uh, excuse me, that's kind of confidential information. Yeah, so what? I have the highest grade in the class and do the best on all the exams? <sighs> I guess you're right. I have been a shoe in for valedictorian since, like, the second grade. Wait, why do you need me to tutor you in the first place? Oh, your coach said that if you don't get your grade up, you won't be able to pitch in the playoffs. Aw, yeah, that's really tough. Let me think about it. Mmm, no. What do you mean, why not? Because I have a life too, you know. Just because I don't run in your little jock circle with all the cheerleaders and athletes doesn't mean I don't have a life. Between homework, my extracurriculars, volunteering, and other stuff, give me one good reason why I should find time in my already busy schedule to tutor you. <laughs> You'll pay me? <laughs> you know, that sounds like a really tempting offer, but I don't need your money. I have a job. I work at the smoothie place down the road from here. Wait, why am I even telling you this? My final answer is no. Now if you'll excuse me. God, he's so annoying. He can't just flash a smile and offer to pay me and think I'm going to do whatever he says. He obviously isn't used to hanging around smart girls. But then again, it 
maybe would it be the worst thing in the world? And if he's offering to pay, I mean, I could use the extra cash. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Wait. I changed my mind. I'll do it. I'll tutor you. But you still have to pay me and promise to show up to every session on time and do the extra work I assign you. Okay, so I guess we have a deal then. Sure, I guess we can shake on it. Right, sorry. Got distracted there for a second. Anyways, uh, we have a half day tomorrow, so meet me at the library at one o'clock sharp. Oh, you had plans after school tomorrow. <laughs> well, cancel them. <laughs> you want to be able to play, don't you? You know, this is our last year here, and your friends will always be there, but a chance to pitch in the playoffs won't. And that seems to be something that's very important to you, so... Well, okay then. I'll see you tomorrow in the library. One o'clock, don't forget. Yeah, have a good night. And I swear, if you're so much as five minutes late... <laughs> okay, bye. <sighs> what did I just get myself into? 12.59. Hmm, he probably forgot. <laughs> Typical. Well, looks like I can just get some studying of my own done since I'm already here. <gasps> Jesus! Why on earth would you scare someone in a library? It's supposed to be quiet in here. Yeah, I guess you took the one o'clock on the dot threat very seriously. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Well... I just didn't know how serious you were about this, that's all. Okay, so did you bring your past homework assignments and exams? Okay, well, how else am I supposed to assess what you're having trouble in? What do you mean I should have told you to bring them? It should have been common sense. Sorry. Okay, there's no point in having this argument now. Do you at least have the exam we had three days ago? Good. Here, let me see. Is there a problem? Just give it to me. I already know you didn't do that great. Why would I judge you? You really think I'm judgmental? Oh, is that what people here think of me? Uh, no, no. Your exam can wait. I want to know more about this. Is that really what everyone says about me behind my back? Don't well me. What else do people say about me? That I'm stuck up and uptight? I am so not stuck up or uptight. Why would people even think that? Just because I make sure to look put together and get good grades does not make me stuck up. And just because I don't waste my valuable time going to nonsensical school events like pep rallies and football games does not make me stuck up. Prom? Why are you asking me about prom? Am I going? <laughs> no. Because it's a big waste of time. <laughs> There's nothing special about prom. I'm not going to buy a super expensive dress I'm only going to wear once to some school dance that I won't even remember a year from now when I'm away at college. Well, if you must know, I'll be at Yale come this fall. That's in Connecticut. <laughs> You're right, I guess not everyone knows that. Sorry. So, what about you? What are you doing after all this comes to an end? 
how you got scouted to play baseball in college. Congratulations. I don't really know much about how the sports world works, but that's a good thing, right? You plan on going pro. Wow, that's really impressive. But there's no way that's going to happen unless we actually stop socializing and start the tutoring. Now give me your exam. I'm just going to look through it for a couple minutes and see where your problem areas are. Oh my god, for the last time, I'm not going to prom. Doesn't even matter anyways. The only guy I would want to go with isn't even going to ask me. Wait, forget I said that. Never mind. Hey, give me your exam back. Not until I tell you who he is. You're so annoying. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. But only because I'm basically getting paid to be here. I am not stalling. Okay, okay, fine. You know Alex? Yeah, I've had a crush on him since, like, forever. But he never seems to pick up on my hints. We kind of run in the same circles, but I don't think he sees me that way. But then sometimes I swear he likes me back. I mean, whenever I flirt with him, he always flirts back, but he's never made a move. It's so frustrating. Why are boys so complicated? Wait, you you talk to him? Why am I asking? Of course you do. You talk to everybody. No, no, you really don't have to talk to him for me. No, really, it's okay. If he hasn't made a move, it's because he doesn't want to. It's as simple as that. And it sucks, but that's the reality. Yeah, okay, so maybe I like him a lot. But there's nothing you can do about it, so let's just drop it, okay? Now, can we please focus on what we actually came here to do? Did you bring your textbook? Of course you didn't. No worries, I brought mine. Okay, so looks like your problems started at chapter 3, so let me just look to the page and... What is it now? What do you mean you have an idea? Um, your hand is still on mine. <laughs> okay, I'll let you get off topic one more time, and then we seriously need to start studying. We have a lot of concepts to go over before the next exam. So, what's this genius idea of yours? Yeah, like I said, he hasn't made a move. What do you mean you can help with that? You were thinking you and I could... What? Pretend to be together? Are you insane? Sorry. Are you insane? Why would we ever do that? To make him jealous? I mean, do you really think that could work? Yeah, well, I guess since you are the most popular guy here, everyone would definitely notice, including him. But, I don't know about this. I mean, yeah, I'd love for him to ask me to prom, but it's like a month and a half away. Do you really think we could keep it up for that long? <sighs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but... I guess you're my fake boyfriend for the next month. I swear this little plan of yours better work. <laughs> Why do you always insist on shaking on everything? Okay, fine. Here. Looks like we have a deal. <laughs>